Hi, Neil O'Brien here. I'm going to take you through some of the templates I've used over years, over the years to help people increase their pricing and not lose clients. So I have a seven step process. I'm not going to go through them all with you. I'm just going to go through three of them. Uh, the first one I'm going to look at is how you can, if you increase your prices, we can work out how many clients you'd have to lose before you'd be worse off profit wise. We're going to look at how pricing options can add up to 20% to your sales. Some of the others I look at, but won't necessarily cover today, competitor analysis, how to quantify the value you deliver is huge, 80-20. And the other one is why you should never discount. So I'm going to, I'm going to come across here to uh, just a template here I use. This is an exercise I often do with business owners when we're looking at pricing. And I understand that the, the fear really is that if you increase your prices, you're going to lose loads of clients. But there is a way to work it out. And this is just an example of an IT services business that annual sales of 560,000. So I took them through a scenario if they increased their prices by 10%, what would happen to business? Now, the average sale, they had 527 clients. The average sale is 350 euros. Now, in their case, the number of clients they would need to lose before they're worse off is 160. That's a lot of clients. Um, this particular business were quite happy that, um, sorry, they were quite happy that they had loyal clients that they weren't just going to jump ship by increasing prices. This gave them the confidence to go and increase their pricing. So your numbers may be different, but it's a great exercise to do is work out how many clients you'd have to work, lose to be worse off when you increase your pricing. That's because a price increase is going to give you so much extra profit, you could afford to lose a bunch of clients. Now, the other side of this is, uh, is not discounting. And here's an example of a business that had sales of 100 costs of 80 and a profit of 10. Now, if they decide to give everyone a 10% discount, you get what happens is the sales drops from 90, from 100 down to 90, the profit is halved, profit drops from 20 down to 100, a 50% drop in profits. And a business that had 25 clients may have to go out and find another 25 just to get back to where they are. Hard enough to sign one client. Imagine having to go out and sign all these clients. Very, very difficult to do. Um, and the third thing I'm going to show you here is pricing options. Now, imagine a scenario where you have 10 customers. They're going to go into a shop and they're looking to buy a bottle of wine. Now, they go into the shop and this bottle, the shop only has one option. It has a bottle of wine for 10 euros. So the 10 customers are going to buy it and sales will be 100. Now, imagine another scenario where you have 10 customers going into a shop. But this shop actually has three price points. Okay, They have a bottle of wine for 10 bottle of wine for 12 and one for 14. Now, what happens in this situation, and they've done numerous studies on this, is that most people go for the middle option. It's just completely subconscious. We do it without thinking. People think, oh, the 10 euros is a bit cheap and 14 is more expensive. I'll go for the middle one. And in this case, on average, six people will go for the 12 euro one, two will go for the 10 euro, and two will go for the 14. In that case, sales have just grown by 20% by having three options. Um, an example here is a, um, a coach. If, they, if they're going to go in with just one price of 650, what I would encourage that person to do is go in with two other options, silver and gold, because some people will go for the middle one and some will go for the more expensive one. So it's a brilliant way of increasing your sales and you're tapping into human psychology by having three price points. Okay, um, that's me, Neil O'Brien. I did mean to share one other thing with you just before I wrap up here. Um, yeah. Um, so look, uh, I have lots of templates on pricing. If you'd like to see them, you can email neil at quantum.ie and I'd be happy to share some of those templates with you. Okay. Thanks for listening.